Good morning, it's around 7.40, 7.38. All right, so today is the end of the first month wrapping up the start solution, I think. <laughs> it's a little, uh, okay, I'm still a little confused what date exactly I started, but because I think it was a random, I don't know, but this is the fourth week I'm weighing in, so this, so I will take this as a month and see if we can get some results. <laughs> I'm waiting to use the bathroom. Oh my god. The kids are very excited today. I, they're going back to school shopping. The end of summer. They're going back to school shopping today. Yep, that time of year, summer's winding down. So I'll just wait for the bathroom. I just want to get on the, that scale, but I gotta pee first. It feels so weird filming a weigh-in. This is so bizarre. I, you, I turned on the light and everything for you guys to do this. And I hate turning on this light. All right, 221. All right, so 221. My highest when I started was 226.8. So I'm pretty sure that means I've lost almost six pounds in a month, which is confusing because last week when I did the math, I thought I figured I lost seven pounds in three weeks. But no, whatever. I'm happy, very happy with six pounds in a month. I, I mean, I'm disabled. I'm not that heavy. I'm really glad I lost that. But I did think I lost more and I was kind of disappointed at first because I don't know, it, it's really stupid. I'm not going to weigh myself again until the second month subs wrapped up. Then I get another update. I'm not doing this every week. This is annoying. Look, it's, it's really, really, really hard for me to lose weight and I don't have a ton to lose. Boy, I can't wait to be out of the 220s. Maybe after next month, huh? All right, well, the coffee is brewing. Cartoons are blaring, must be a Sunday. I just picked up a little Band-Aid that was on the floor while I was weighing in. That's from my Abinac shot I gave myself yesterday. I don't know if the, I don't know if that's gonna be in the vlog. Uh, if it is, I'm sorry. I picked it up and threw it out, I promise. I think I'm gonna putz around with the plants right now, though I think the tomatoes are done. We got a lot of them. There's some tomatoes that we've got right now. I don't think there's anything left on the plants. Let's see. Poor plants. They, I we got a lot of tomatoes out of these though, so it's not too bad. I'm just wondering when I should, you know, stop watering them and giving them food every once in a while. Really, only gave them food probably maybe twice all summer. These guys, I got some tomatoes here, but they've got like those bruises at the bottom, and I don't know, like, see, like, what is that? I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna eat it. Oh, this one looks okay. Or is this one destroyed? Let's look at the other side. Oh, no, that one's definitely destroyed. And this one, this big boy here, destroyed. Okay, well, this one I looked at yesterday, and it, it looked pretty good, but then it fell off. I don't know if this is going to ripen off the vine. I don't know. I'm just leaving it here for now. It gets a lot of sun in this particular spot. I have no idea what happened to the basil plant. I really don't know what happened to that. Maybe an animal got to it. But to be honest, we didn't eat a ton of basil off here. I made a few things, but we used it a lot less than we thought. I mean, we're Italian. I'm surprised, but you know. There's um, pretty much absolutely no tomatoes on this one. I think this one's definitely done. But this one, we got a ton. This one, a ton of big tomatoes that we have been eating. We got one more little one on this one. Where is it? Okay, well, it's nowhere near ready to be eaten, but that's a pretty good one. And the cherries, I picked pretty clean from here. I think there's a few green ones on here, but... What are you looking at? Simba, good morning. Do you like the tomato plants too? What do you think, Simba? Aw, where are you going? Alright, well he's bored. And that's the update with the plants. I don't know what else to tell you guys about that. I mean, we had great tomatoes this year. We were really happy, especially with this one. Don't mind me rambling on about my plants like I'm an old man. These make coffee. Well, these and this. I just got email from a uh, YouTube partner support and I kind of don't even want to read them. <laughs> I'm just not ready for that today. I was hoping I could have a day off. <laughs> because I've been nonstop and you know when it was at a point like okay well we're looking into it it's been escalated we'll hear back from you in a few days or next week I was excited I was like okay I have to sit and wait I'll happily do that but now that there's like I, I there's two emails here and I'm I'm hot I'm tired oh my god I swear to god this is the best news <laughs> I got email that says hi my name is Jen I'm filling in for Martin today if you need anything today that's it <laughs> I'm still in the waiting phase. I don't have to do anything. 
that they're just saying if I need to talk to somebody to talk to Jan instead of Martin. <laughs> this is so great. Hey, I'm kind of getting back on the scale because I just went to the bathroom. I'm sorry. I don't want to be TMI here. 220.4. So I lost 0.6 pounds in the past few minutes. So why am I doing the starch solution? Why do I want to lose weight? Oh, so you guys saw I got on the scale. I'm 220 and I'm around 5'9". So an obvious reason why I want to lose weight is I'm kind of heavy. But the problem with that is I have MS. I have multiple sclerosis and I'm kind of disabled. So I, I don't get like the cardiovascular, like heart health, exercise and moving around. I move around as much as I can, but I don't like exercise like that. And that's not good. That's that's a time bomb. That's I'm getting older. It's also, I'm, I'm more mobile when I weigh less. It's a lot easier for me to do the movement I can when I weigh less. Like I'm talking, even just rolling around in bed, like, like you want to turn over or something in bed, so much easier to do with just a few pounds off. It's for walking, it's for mobility, it's for the, I mean, being healthy, having a healthy weight is my best shot. And I have multiple sclerosis. It's one of the best things I can do. Because really what it is, I don't want to like um, diet to uh, just to lose weight or be a different size. It's actually what this is, is I want to implement things I, I can do throughout my life that helps manage my weight. I'm implementing this because it, there's no reason why I can't stick with the whole foods diet for the rest of my life, but primarily whole foods. You know who really inspired me to do this? Don't get me wrong, Archie inspired me a lot because Archie is the one, my friend Archie, Archie type on YouTube, he wanted to do the starch solution to try it and he asked if I would do it with him and I, <laughs> doing it has been the best decision I've, I've made recently. Alan Roberts, <laughs> Everyday Damn Fitness. I have no idea why I watch that channel. I, I love him, but I'm not like a fitness person, obviously. I don't go to the gym. I don't lift. I don't know what he does, but I love his videos. He made a video some months ago about um, if you don't exercise. And it really kind of made me think. It's, you know, because it's important for me to do this and to eat this way, a, a clean diet, because I, I'm, I'm not active and I'm overweight slash obese. I, I have to check to see where my weight is. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm like low obese. Like, that sucks for your heart. I, I don't want to put my body through more. <laughs> I already have MS. <laughs> I don't want to like trash it, you know? And things suck as it is. I don't want to make it even worse because I can't put down the Impossible Burgers. I hope that cleared it up. It's kind of like if you if you could eat a way that you knew it would improve your health and you knew it would improve your weight, why wouldn't you? <laughs> My what I eat in a days are dumb. I, I never eat until like one, so I don't know why I bother recording at like eight in the morning. All right, uh, 10, 15. This is breakfast. Love it. The uh, 308, and I'm really just feeling potato. I'm kind of hungry. And what I do is, if you microwave mushrooms with a little water for like a minute, it makes them kind of like sauteed. Put some salt on it first, and they're like soft and kind of salty and really good. So I'm just gonna put that on top of that. And ta da! These are so good. I love them. It's the easiest thing. Just put mushrooms in a bowl with like the tiniest bit of water. Ketchup pans. Now I got a peach. What is it, Nielsen? He's trying to tell me something. Nelly, what is it? Tell me more. What about it? Uh-oh. What are you going to do? There he goes. He's got, he's got important things to do. Simba. The babies and the babies. All right, now Mert is uh, grilling some veggie burgers for me. Thank you, Mert. Oh my God, look at my acne. Look, do you see my pimple? Oh my God. Your pimple. Do I have a white head? Oh, yes. Hey guys. Sorry, I'm looking at your huge zit on your face. Is it bothering you? No. Can I just touch it? No. We're both very acneic recently. We really are. I was talking about that, about how much acne I'm... Me too. Okay, Mert's acne has been out of control lately. I mean, Man. the both of us. I am oh, oh. 35 years old. Look at her acne. Wow, that looks really bad. I know. No offense. None but... taken. Okay, good, Look because it, it looks terrible. She really is. Look how tan I am. All right, I got um these burgers. So. You're so cute. Thank you. With freckles. <laughs> thank you. They're not freckles. And, and they're pimples. Hair. But th oh, thank you. All right, those were some um, black bean burgers with some vegetables, some peppers. I completely forget 
what burgers they are or the brand or anything, but I'll put it in the comments and I'll find out online. All right, what time is it? It is 6.24, so I may or may not eat again. I will let you guys know. By the way, guys, do me a favor. Don't tell Dr. McDougal, okay? It's, it's every once in a while. I like literally maybe a few times a week but but that's been forever i don't okay i'll stop maybe you know when when the case is empty and yeah right 8 20 and i am starving so i have to make some oatmeal and i'm missing 90 day fiance so that's that's all i'm saying all right it's after uh 10 i'm gonna go to bed but First, I'm just gonna go ahead and walk into Erica's room without knocking. Hello. No, no what? No. All right, so I'm fin I'm wrapping up today's vlog. So do you wanna? Here, let me come over there so you can be in it. <laughs> do you no.